Hello and welcome to the PCM Tech Help Show. I'm your host, Craig Chamberlain, and this is the Faster XP series. And this series is going to be going on for quite some time, and in it, I'm going to basically cover every single optimization technique for Windows XP that's even possible. And I mean, as far as I've discovered at this point, I have in the pipeline over 60 videos, so make sure you stay tuned for each episode, and they are going to be staggered. So, and tune in every Monday at 10 a.m. Eastern, that's when they're going to be published automatically. You guys don't have to wonder when the next video is coming. It's going to be consistent from now on. Now, in this video, we're going to talk about how to create a system restore point. One thing you should know before we create a system restore point is that it's not a foolproof way of protecting your machine. We create a system restore point for this series because we are going to make some adjustments to your registry. We're going to clean it up. We're going to tweak it. We're going to optimize it. We're going to do all kinds of fun things with it. But if you ever run into system instability during this process, you can roll it back. Do not mistake this part of the program where you're creating a system restore point for protecting your critical system or data files. You're going to want to back those up on your own using a USB flash drive, a CD, blank CD to burn it to, or external hard drive, whatever you got. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, just go ahead and click the start button and select all programs. And we're going to go up to accessories. And then we're going to go to system tools. And then you have the option for system restore. System restore will boot up, hopefully quickly for you. If it doesn't, that's no problem. And we're going to select create a restore point. Go ahead and click next. And at this point, I'm going to type in faster XP 2012 because this is the description of the restore point. Now, don't worry. It will put a date and time stamp on your restore point so that you know exactly where you're rolling back to. At this point, just select create. And new restore point created gives you the time and date, and uh, you're good to go. So that's how you create your own system restore point. Let me show you how to recover from it. I'm going to go to home, but you can come back to this section of it at any time. And you want to say restore my group, uh, computer to an earlier time, select next. And then at this point, you can actually select either the date in which you did the restore point, or you can actually select the actual physical restore point, select next. And then at this point, it's going to ask you if you want to are you absolutely sure? Uh, in my opinion, yes, I am at this point. If I have system instability, which is the only reason I would use this tool, I would be more than ready to take the chances of uh, making certain software packages not function properly, just so I could restore stability to my operating system. You can always reinstall programs, but it's always kind of a pain to reinstall an operating system. So at this point, you would click Next, and it would actually continue with the entire system restore point. So that's all there is to this video. As always, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to tune in every Monday at 10 p.m. 10 a.m. Eastern. I'm sorry. And uh, there's going to be a new episode of the Faster XP series. Now, I'm not going to be limited to the Faster XP 2012 series. This is a series that's going to be going every Monday at 10. Uh, I am planning on putting other video series in the pipeline along with this one. So uh, that'll be on a different day and a different time slot. You follow what I'm saying? That way, if you're only interested in one of the series, is series one series that I'm doing then you can actually just follow that one on that day rather than worrying about siphoning through the stuff in between all my videos. Again, my name is Craig Chamberlain. This is the PCM Tech Help Show, and I hope you visit my website. I got free videos. We also have free downloads, tons of free downloads there, and also a free technical support forum, which I'm working on. It's a little unstable at the moment. But uh, you can also follow me on Twitter where I'm myself, and that might disturb you. And uh, you can follow me on Facebook or on I don't know, where else are we all, all at these days? Oh, who cares? Thanks again. See you next week.